Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Well, here we are again. As I've stated before, I'm going to continue to sound the alarm whenever I see an article like this come out because I think that this information is very important for the community to have at their hands if you guys want to listen to it, okay? So, the title of this article is It's a Disaster Like I've Never Seen Before. 2019 could be the worst year ever for U.S. corn farmers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so let's go ahead and read on. I'm going to go ahead and make this quick. That way you guys can go on about your days because I think this is my second video for today. So here we go. The amount of corn produced in the United States this year is going to be way below expectations. The Department of Agriculture just slashed its harvest estimates quite dramatically in its June report. But some farmers in the Midwest believe that those reduced projections are still way too optimistic. As I have previously detailed, millions upon millions of acres will go unplanted this year. But that is not, but that is only part of the story. Much of the corn that has actually been planted is coming up very slowly due to the exceedingly poor conditions. And corn farmers all over the Midwest are reporting that their plants look absolutely terrible. If we get picture-perfect weather between now and harvest time, this simply will be a terrible year. But if severe heat and or early frost hits the Midwest, this could very easily be the worst year that we have ever seen for corn farmers in the United States. The other day, Illinois farmer James McCoon gathered a large number of his fellow corn farmers for a prevent plant party, and the mainstream media showed up to cover it. In addition, McCoon told Fox Business that this year is a disaster like I've never seen before, and he said that some of his neighbors got even less corn planted than he did. As bad as things are in Illinois right now, the truth is that some neighboring states are in even worse shape. According to the latest Department of Agriculture report, 73% of the cornfields in Illinois have been planted. But in Indiana, that figure is sitting at just 67%. And in Ohio, only 50% of the fields have been planted. Only 50%. That is an sorry, that is an unmitigated disaster because the time for planting corn has now passed. Needless to say, the farmers that were not able to plant crops have been absolutely flooding their insurance companies with claims. But what is imperative to remember that even if farmers were able to get their fields planted, that does not mean that everything is going to be okay. In fact, Corn farmers all over the Midwest are deeply distressed by what is emerging from the ground. In his entire farming career, James McCoon has never seen anything like this. And farmer Rob Sharkey used the word ugly to describe the condition of the corn on his farm. We'll see what happens, but right now we are facing an unprecedented nightmare in the heartland of America. It is exceedingly difficult to grow corn in soil that is absolutely saturated with water. Some farmers are saying that it is literally going to take years to recover from this disaster and many will never be able to go back to farming again because they have been financially ruined. Of course, there are many farmers that are doing their very best to soldier on, but it is tough. Illinois farmer Thack, Mike Thacker was able to get 60% of his field planted, but at this point he is not happy with a single field. But like I said earlier, if the weather is ideal between now and harvest time, 2019 will just be a terrible year. However, a major heat wave this summer would, absolutely, would be absolutely catastrophic and if there is an early frost, it will turn this world upside down. So much of the corn that has been planted is way, way behind schedule. 
And so many Midwest farmers will push things for as long as possible when we get to harvest time. But an early snap of cold weather could ruin those plans. In any event, in the short term, U.S. consumers are going to be facing significantly higher prices at the grocery store. Beyond that, we could potentially be facing the sorts of scenarios that most people don't like to think about. For the moment, more rain continues to hammer the mid middle of the country. In fact, there was more flash flooding in the Midwest on Saturday. Sadly, even more heavy rain is on the way, and some areas could see over 4 inches of precipitation early in the week. I have been repeatedly writing about this crisis for the last couple of months, and now the mainstream media is finally starting to grasp the true gravity of this disaster. In all of U.S. history, we have never witnessed anything like this ever before. We have seen endless rain and catastrophic flooding month after month so far in 2019, and the middle of the country is still getting plum pummeled at this moment. Nobody knows exactly what the weather will look like during the critical summer, uh, during the critical summer months. But I have a feeling that the end result of this crisis will be far worse than any of the experts are anticipating. And ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the article. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to this article if you guys would like to uh, take a look at it for yourselves and follow some of the links that you see on here. Okay, but I don't want to make this video too long. All right. I just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on with our planting season. Now that the in the military we would call it the drop dead date all right so the drop dead date for planting of corn has come and passed which means is that the date that corn had to be planted in order for it to grow big enough for it to be harvested when it's supposed to be harvested you know after the summer's over okay or you know into the fall so i like to continue to read these articles to you all so that it would stay in the front of your minds that we need to continue to prepare don't listen to these people that say that everything's going to be all right ladies and gentlemen i hope i hope that i am 100 percent wrong i hope that this article is 100 percent wrong and that everything's going to be all right but that is not why we prepare we prepare for those times when these articles and these instances are correct okay worst case scenario is that you get to eat food in two or three years that you paid for at the prices of today that's the worst case scenario ladies and gentlemen okay so do your own research all right go to the link read the article and decide for yourselves what's the best thing for you to do for yourselves and your families all right, because I think that we are going to be facing extremely high food prices. That's what I personally think. All right, not only do we have Mother Nature knocking at our door, all right, and uh, making it where these crops are not being able to be planted, but on top of that, we have inflation due to the monetary supply being inflated. Okay, we have geopolitical problems. All right, where tariffs are being issued by countries all over the world against the United States and the United States against those countries. And just in case you don't know what a tariff is, a tariff, in my opinion, is just an extra tax that the consumer is going to pay. All right, when we place a tariff on a gadget that comes from country A, all right, to the United States. What that means is that the wholesaler that purchases those goods from country A will have to pay a tariff on those goods, all right? So a percentage of what he is paying for those goods, he's going to have to pay an additional percentage, let's say 20%. So if a wholesaler is buying sneakers from China, all right, and there is a tariff on that product, that wholesaler now, instead of paying $100,000 for a shipment, is going to be paying $120,000 for the shipment, okay? And that $20,000 that he pays, if it's a 20% tariff, will go to the U.S. Treasury, okay? 
Now, how is he going to recoup that $20,000 that he paid in tariffs? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You and I and Joe Consumer is going to end up paying for that tariff that the wholesaler paid for in order to accept the shipment from whatever country it is that he was getting it from. We, ladies and gentlemen, are the ones that pay the tariffs. Everyone thinks that it's the country that is importing the goods. No, we pay for the tariffs, all right? So not only are those forces going to make everything that we use on, or not everything, but most everything that we use on a day-to-day -day basis, because most of the things that we consume here in the United States, ladies and gentlemen, are made overseas, all right? I think it's like one-third of the food stuff that we consume in the United States are imported into this country, all right? And now that we have crops that look like they're not going to be doing very good at all this year, all right? Not only are we not going to be able to export the amount that we normally export, but all of those forces of supply and demand is going to take effect and then it's going to make the price of almost everything that we consume, all right? Be it food or be it some kind of consumer product more expensive. That is what I believe and I am preparing for a scenario like that. Okay, now I had a comment not too long ago from someone, I forgot who it was, but from someone that said, what are you, and this was the comment, and I'm going to go ahead and paraphrase it, but he says something like, what are you people, crazy? You know, we've always had ups and downs in the economies, we've had, uh, you know, we've had market crashes here and there throughout our, uh, you know, throughout our lifetime, and we've always ended up okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you what. This is a scenario that I, or this is, I don't know what to call it, right? I'm not very intelligent. But this is something that I like to tell people. Only because something has never happened, and what I mean by that something that has never happened, only because we have never had a catastrophic crop failure and or a catastrophic event which affects our entire financial system, all right, in our lifetimes, only because that's never happened in our lifetimes doesn't mean that it cannot happen, all right? And what I like to ask people who have that mind thought or that mindset is this, have you ever broken a bone before? And if they tell me no, I tell them, so what you're telling me is because you've never broken a bone, it is impossible for you to ever break a bone. And then they immediately say, well, of course it's possible for me to break a bone. Only because I've never broken a bone doesn't mean that I can't break a bone. Well, it's the same thing in this instance. Only because something like this has never happened in our country's history before doesn't mean that it cannot happen. And that's what I'm getting at. So I'm going to go ahead and blow the trumpet and say prepare, prepare, prepare. Do it now while time is on your side and do it now while you still can. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me today. I truly hope that you got something out of this. And if anything, I hope that you are encouraged to go and do some of your own research so that you can either validate what I just read to you or dismiss it. One or the other, but at least do a little bit of your own research. Don't just take my word for it and don't just take the word of the person who wrote this article for it. Do your own research and make sure that you do what you need to do for your own well-being and for the well-being of your family. All right. Having said that, thank you very much for joining me again. Uh, remember to be good to each other because when good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place. Ladies and gentlemen, if you found this article useful or interesting please like share and if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe uh, this channel is not about doom and gloom this channel is about empowering you to empower yourself by using critical thinking all right and by encouraging to prepare for anything not just a crop failure but for anything all right so many blessings to all of you and your families this is alaska prepper i'm out